Right guys, a bit of a different video today. Um, yeah, I'm going to be taking some personal time. So um, I've just sort of finished up a couple of these to a point where I can put them away. Now this is now big yellow, um, looking good. Um, I can't move it because it's shelf is piled up with stuff, but that looks way more mean than the solid axle, I'm sorry. Uh, and then you get some wheels for that. They're not, it's permanent wheels. Um, that is now the Emax. It's a wide angle lens, so it looks a bit funny, but um, you've all seen the shell before. Uh, this is the chassis that had the hard body on. Uh, as you can see now, it's looking like a um, Zanscorch on steroids, and that's how that is staying. That is finished now. I'm not doing any more body or wheel swaps with that. That's staying as it is. This, other than a wheel swap, and the bumper keeps coming off, so I need to fix sort out a bumper that is now pretty much as it's going to stay uh, i've just got to mount the gearbox and the electronics and that is good that is done right so uh now that i've uh finished this is my little shelving um that i've got in my bedroom um it's a bit of a mess at the moment because we're busy decluttering and um getting rid of some stuff um so these are all boxes that have been displaced there's going to be like a little chest of drawers and another shelf there and that's going to be all my RC stuff um, going there right so back on to uh, the secondary location and oh yes my dog is here <laughs> she's following yes she's she's following me around as always right so like I say excuse the clutter we are having a sort out so um, yes it's just as messy down here um right so this these are all boxes of die cast cars um that i'm getting rid of uh things like this where the because uh, i used to have a citroen zara so i wanted the rally version right picking these up because i want to show you something i went that is what's left of big yellow as it was as a solid axle truck right so forth into the kitchen where yes familiar for surroundings you know this place <laughs> right so uh bear with me for one moment right so i'm back again uh yeah this is a brief video because like i say i'm taking some time off so it might be a while before i put another video out so i just thought i'd show you what i'm up to this i can't remember if i've ever actually showed this and definitely not recently this is my fall guy monster truck my take on the Lozy LMT. As you can see, she's quite pretty underneath, all black and red anodized aluminium, except for the axles, which are plastic. <laughs> but literally everything else is metal. Um, oh, except for the drive shafts. The drive shafts are plastic, but uh, there was a plan to sort that out. See, look, even the motor is red. <laughs> <clears throat> right now, I may be putting a new body on this at some point. Uh, I am undecided. New body and some. Right. New wheels. The plan was. Ah, the dog's dribbling me with a wet face. Look at that. Look, look what you've done. Yes, God. Dogs and they get all the leak from all directions. <laughs> right now, these are the axles from Big Yellow. Uh, they are technically aftermarket Wraith AR60 axles. Um, oh, God, oh, dripping down my leg. What are you doing, you fool? You scared yourself now, aren't you? <laughs> Everywhere I go. My little video assistant follows. Um, she likes to get in on the action. She didn't like to be left out. Um, yeah, so I was going to put these... Uh, oh, excuse me. On this, which then would give it... Uh, roughly... Um, for those who work in inches, sorry, but an, an, roughly another two centimetres. Uh, which is, what, just over half an inch? Either side, making this... Uh, the wheels here Now I was then going to get some monster truck wheels and this was going to be a thing beast, but Can anybody else spot the issue? Drive shafts go to here The pumpkin is on is not in the middle So the drive shafts wouldn't work the way through the links so these axles will not go on there. And of course the front is the same. <laughs> so if the gearbox was the other way around, 
Uh, I mean, I suppose I could rotate the gearbox. If I rot... Oh. Oh. Do you know when you talk stuff from you realise something? Um, what I will do at a later date when I come back to our scene is switch the skid plate around so the gearbox is now on this side and the drive shafts are on this side and see if it will work the other way. Ooh. Okay. Right, now let me put this back on the shelf because I've got more to talk about. Oh, hang on. Uh, I know somebody always wants, somebody always asks what it looks like from the front. Now, <clears throat> this is an SCX-10 for the original one. Um, whether you call it a brush guard or a bumper or a, what's the other name I use from in the UK? Uh, I can't remember what they call them in the UK, but this is for an SX-10, the original one. Obviously, the, the all SX-10s are the same width at the um at the rails. <laughs> I always have one of those brain farts somewhere in one of my videos. Anyway, people keep asking me who it is. It's by a company called Radshape, who are no longer trading. I have another one over here. No, I don't. It's on my... Oh, can you just see? It's a slightly smaller one for a CCO one. And it's on the front of that. Um, That's a perfect fit for that. Um, so, yes, I have two of these, and this guy doesn't trade anymore, so you can't get them. Sorry. Everybody asks, every time I show this, where did you get that from? They're no longer available. You might find some new old stock on eBay, um, but I very much doubt it. Oh, and I forgot what everybody already asks as well. The wheels are HSP uh, monster truck wheels, and they're replicas of the HPI. Um, I can't remember which truck it was. An HPI had those trucks with 2.2 wheels on. They're 2.8s. People always ask about that as well. Right, so these are the wheels from Big Yellow. Uh, bear with me. Right, these are the wheels from Big Yellow. Um, I've not been able to do anything with them because I managed to break the tip of my 1.5mm hex driver. And the 16 screws that go into each wheel, 1.5mm. You ever tried getting these out with a hand L-shaped Allen key? Not happening. Not with my arthritis anyway. So, anyway, I've got this off now. Why, you ask? Right, now, I'm going to stretch these tyres over a larger rim, and these are going to be for big yellow. Uh, they were very grippy, and would be perfect for the job. They're just... Uh, these wheels, because of the... I'm going to say stud pattern. I know it isn't, but um, because of the way the bolts overhang the rim like that, who thought of that design? They catch on um, the C-hubs on the front on every truck I've ever put them on. Um, so I'm going to see if they will fit on this. And I will get some... Uh, Asi four wheel drive now do some 2.2 tyres. But they're only just marginally bigger than those. So if, I can, if they will fit, I'll save myself a fortune and use these wheels. Um, these... These black Land Rovers look better with black wheels. If not, I'll just sand and repaint these and leave it the hell alone. Um, so that is where we're at. Oh, this thing. Um, I bolted it back together. Um, I did. Move this out of the way. Out of the way. Get out of the way. Um, this, I did start making the bulkhead. Now, I've got the firewall... Um, between the engine and the dashboard and the footwell I've got that piece made but I haven't got the inner fenders made yet um, so when I get back to it that'll be my first job now then this is mechanically finished um, I've got some fettling to do now I haven't decided whether to use these axles for this or use the well I was going to use the axles from that because they're HSP uh, Everest 10 um, HPI Scout axles, they're all the same and they are tough as hell um, they, they're bare minimum but they never break and if you break um, the only part that breaks is the end the connection between the pinion gear and the end, that drive shaft they're, they're where they snap and 
they are very very cheap to buy so i was going to use them for this because they're tougher than the land rover axles that are under it now but i can't replace those so that's good with that plan um so we're sort of stuck with as we were you know all the plans are axle swapping are now done so now because these are 110 axles underneath this um i'm hoping they will fit over the c hubs at the front so i was hoping to get some black axles for this because uh they look good but the black ones were more than the titanium ones so i went with the cheaper ones at the time but yeah right so that's the plan this is mechanically um all up and running uh, the motors there um i will move these suspension mounts once i've got the metal in the fenders at the front uh, i will then bolt those mounts to the inner fenders rather than the chassis rails and that will drop the ride height to i want it to be that uh, which is a mild lift as far as an excursion is concerned um, that's the perfect ride height i feel um, and hopefully get better articulation now, now the only problem with this bit i haven't decided whether i'm leaving this bit as is um it needs trimming on the side anyway but so there we go that's where we're at uh nipping and tucking uh i don't know if you've... the the doors are on um so i need to make the rear glass for that and a few little internal trims like this piece here this this piece here on both sides um finish the cap in put some lights in Ta -da! uh i have missed the summer i've missed this year oh, i'll tell you what i have done um the driver's door is actually broken, so I have bolted it in. Um, that gives it a bit of structural integrity, makes it a bit stiffer on this side at least. So if I need to put a driver in it, it'll have to go through the passenger door. Um, I started making the lights, uh, I, will make, I started making the bumper, so I'll finish all that when I come back to it. And uh, yeah, um, maybe it'll have a snow or winter bash. So that's where we're at with that. Um, I'll... Uh, swapping around was scuppered so we'll we'll try swapping the skip plate around and see if the um angle of the drive shafts changing from one side to the other lets me put these on and then we can do all the swaps again so because this is a larger truck the bigger pump there massive pumpkins on those <laughs> way out of scale um i just even though these look good i don't like the um, I've not managed to get the on chassis servo to work. Uh, there's a lot of slop from side to side. So if I use an on axle servo, that solves all that problem. I can just sort of get on with getting the suspension right. And there we go. Um, yeah, I just didn't want to leave for another couple of weeks without doing another video. So there we go. That's where we're at, peeps. I will be putting lights in these mirrors. I don't know if anybody out there has done that on these. But they look awesome. The, the mirrors on Big Yellow have lights in. And I will be wiring them up. Um, whether I wire them up as indicator lights or just marker lights, I don't know. Um, I suppose they'd look pretty good if they were flashing. Like the real thing. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to glue the top of the door in place. Although, because I repainted the car and didn't repaint the top of the door, it's now a different bloody colour. So, a bit sad about that, but... We shall cope. I haven't ruled out giving it another coat of paint later anyway. Um, yeah. Right, there we go, peeps. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm not quite sure how long it'll be before I put another video out. So I just wanted to give you an update. Uh, thanks for your continued support. I've got a few new subscribers. So thank you very much. And hope to see you real soon, guys. Bye.